Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, Jose. How are you? Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, exhausted, right? <laughs> Very good. I understand that feeling. Uh, did you work today or? Yes, I I oh. have. To. Um, I drove from Santa Tecla to Morazan. Oh my God, so you're really tired right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I understand. Uh, okay, but probably uh, probably you will be able to, to have a little bit of fun with this class probably, <laughs> and you will rest because you're not driving anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, hopefully. So we are going to, we're about to start the class. We didn't have any homework. Um, I guess that today we are going to have normal regular classes, but uh, which is which is the holiday? Uh, thank you for coming, Jaime, Sandra, and Eric. Which is the holiday? Is the 1st of November or the 2nd of November? Do you know that? What? Is the, is the second the holiday? We are on holiday. holiday. Uh -huh. Yes, we have a holiday, right? The and second. Yes, the second, right? Second. So tomorrow we will have classes. Uh, no. No, right? We won't have no. classes, right? Okay. Um. Yes, because I was checking, and a student told me yes. Tomorrow we will have classes. On the second, we won't have classes. So I was checking oh. that. But we I won't have, have class. We won't have classes tomorrow, right? Okay. Tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow, no. yes. On the second, no. On Wednesday, we won't have classes. Not having class. Uh, no, we won't have classes. <laughs> okay, I will make sure. I will make sure because I, I, I thought that we were not going to have classes on Tuesday. And then we are going to have we were going to have classes on Wednesday, but now uh, a student told me no, that is incorrect, teacher. We are going to have classes tomorrow, and on Wednesday we won't have classes. We are going to have classes on um, Thursday, Friday, but on Wednesday not. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to ask, and I will let you know uh, in the group, okay? But let's say that tomorrow we are going to have classes, okay? Let's say that that uh, tomorrow is not the holiday, okay? So, but if something changes, because I thought that that was going to be the way, uh, something changes, I will let you know, okay? As soon as possible. I will ask about that in the morning, okay? So, but the thing is that on Friday, we will have classes, right? The last class, because this is the last week. You see, it's really, really fast, right? Everything happened really fast. So what we are going to do right now is just to finish section five. Did you check? We will have classes Friday, right? We will. We will. Uh, I'm not sure that we, if we are going to have classes on Tuesday or Wednesday. That's what I'm not sure. I guess that we weren't. We were not going, going to have classes on, on 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 Tuesday, but somebody told me that we were going to have classes. But I will check tomorrow. But on on Friday we will. That's for sure. We will have classes. What Why? about Friday? Friday we will. <clears throat> Yes, we will have classes on Friday. Okay. Yes. So that will be the last class, okay, for this intermediate section. Did you check the intermediate already? Okay, Carla Marino, no problem. ¿Ya revisaron el, 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 el curso de la plataforma? Yeah. Yes. yes, right. Yeah. Section five. Yes. Yeah, the section five, the last one, right? Okay, perfect. So you see, it was really fast. We finished really fast. So we are going to uh, check this today. We are going to have a little review today, a little bit of a review from topics that you already know. So hopefully you will help me, okay? Hopefully you will be able to help me. So thank you for coming, Juan Linares, Carla Marino, and Sandra, and Noe, right? Thank you for being here on Monday at 9 p.m. Okay, so this uh, module is about what would you do? So we are going to talk about 
and real situations. If you already check the platform, we are going to check that. We are going to practice that, okay? So in this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentence with if clauses are used in context. So we are going to study uh, if clauses and also conditionals, right? You already know that, okay? You already know, so that's, that's easy for you. So this is uh, news, right? Stories of honesty, historias de honestidad. So for example, we have here a business, a businessman returns 750,000 to owner and is thanked with a brief phone call. So this is a uh, stories of honesty. Some people that who is really, or who are really honest, right? Uh, we are going to listen or we are going to talk about these kind of stories. Another story is golfer admits using illegal ball by mistake, but is still disqualified from game. Another one is athlete admits to cheating, confesses that he just wanted to win. Student uses detective word to find owner of gold jewelry. Taxi driver returns computer drives miles to give laptop back to passenger. And the last one, fan returns soccer, stars lucky t-shirt, player gives him $1,000 reward. So have you listened to these kind of stories? Like stories like that are unbelievable, like people return money, or what would you do if you had like around $750,000 in your car, if you found a, a, a lot of money, what would you do? Would you return it? Would you go to the police? What would you do? I ran to the department store. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my money, right? This is my money. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah, I, that I can got, happen. <laughs> I got the spread deals more on spend. <laughs> you will go to the buy store. a cloth. I, I will. Uh, <laughs> And we'll have a um, chair. Yes. Occasion. Uh, only I can listen because I have problem with my, I, ha I have a flu. I don't feel good. Yeah, Carla, I, I read your messages. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Carla. Uh, I, so you will be just no listening, problem. right? No, no problem. No problem. If you are sick, no problem. Okay. Lo voy a estar escuchando. Gracias. Okay. Perfect, Carla. So what would you do if you found a lot of money? What would you do? You spend it, you spend all of the money, right? We'll spend all the money. I would go to the super selectos. I would go to Christmas, right? It's Christmas time. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. But if you knew, if you knew the owner of the money, like for example, this money belongs to, to this person, right? What would you do? Would you keep it or would you give it back? I give back. I Probably return because I believe in the karma. You believe in karma. So probably that's something good that happened to you, but probably that money won't be uh, very well spent, right? Probably, or something bad can happen to you because you're not being honest. Yeah, probably that can happen. Probably, right? If you believe that, that's your belief, right? What would you do, Jaime, if you found a lot of money and if you knew the owner of the money? <laughs> Difficult question, right? Yes, yes. Please repeat, teacher. Yeah, what would you do if you had a lot of money? Like if you found in the bus or on the street, right, a lot of money? And if you knew the owner of the money? Mm -hmm. Would you give it back? Would you give back the money? Would you give the money back or would you keep it? Oh, so give them give the money return. <laughs> you will return the money. Yes, Why? Why? Because uh, the uh, the money no no is mine. I uh -huh. return. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a difficult situation, right? Because sometimes we need money. Most of the time, right? We need money. And if we found a lot of money, probably, we don't know, or probably this person will give a little bit of it or uh, if you return it, right? But 
that will be a difficult situation. It depends, right, on the situation. Very good. Yeah. Thank you for your participation. So we are going to talk in this section, section uh, five, a little bit of unreal situation, okay? But to talk about that, we will need vocabulary. So we are going to check right now some new, probably not new, but vocabulary that we are going to use. Okay. Now, this is the vocabulary for this unit. For example, we have a firm, right? Firm. Firm. That is the, the meaning in Spanish. We have also... Dilemma. Dilemma, right? Dilemma. It's not dilemma. I've, I have heard that pronunciation before. It's not dilemma, but it's dilemma, right? Dilemma. Dilemma. We have another word, forgive, right? Forgive. 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 Confront. What is the meaning of confront? Affrontar. Affrontar, exactly. Confront. Apology. What is the meaning of apology? Disculpa. Disculpa, right, exactly. Apology. Apology. Honest, right? Yes. Uh, I can see a screen. Okay, I will I will We'll stop it right now and then I will share it again. Probably that will fix that will fix the problem. Let me see here. Yes, this one is. Can you see it right now, Maria? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. So we have apology is disculpa, right? Honest. We don't say honest, right? We say honest. 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 We have advice. 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 Advice is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. I uh, don't say I will give you an advice. That is incorrect. I will give you some advice or a piece of advice. So we have problem. Problem. We have also situation situation should should in this case in this word we don't pronounce the l right should just like without the l should yes sh you should you should do this you should do that right refuse refuse and we have lend 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 exactly prestar enjoy enjoy, enjoy. disagree Disagree. Agree. 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 Okay. Agree, agree and disagree. They are di they are opposites, right? Disagree, no estar de acuerdo. Y agree, estar de acuerdo, right? Admit. Admit. Deny. 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 Divorce. Divorce. Forget. Get. Mary. 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 Save. 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 Remember. 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 Lose. 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 Dislike. Lose. Dislike. Dislike, we have two options. Aversión or desagradar, right? Dislike. I dislike. Dislike. Borrow. 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 Accept. Accept. Predicament. 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 Exactly. Predicament. Predicament is like a problem, right? We have some predicaments. Let's see what else. Uh, tough. 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 Yes, tough is like with F at the end, como que fuera una F al final, tough. 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 Exactly. Tough. Tough. Go. 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 Remember that it's O, right? It's not like the O in Spanish. No es como la O en español. It's go. 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 Bye. 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 Return. 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 Spend. 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 Find. 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 If. 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 Honesty. 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 So you see, 
it's really easy, right? Do you have any question about any of these um, words, vocabulary, questions? Mm -hmm. All clear, teacher. Everything's clear, perfect. What is the difference between borrow and lend? Um. What is the difference? Borrow and lend. Borrow is for, for objects and lend is for money. Okay, borrow is for object and lend is for money, Eric says. Give me an example, Eric, please. I mean, can you borrow, can you borrow me your, your pencil? Can you borrow me your pencil? Okay, very good. And lend? Can you lend me, lend me uh, five dollars? Can you lend me five dollars? Okay, very good. We are going to check, we are going to go back to lend and borrow, but remember that. Borrow and lend. Perfect. What is the difference? Now we are going to check this conversation. We are going to practice because in that way we are going to practice the pronunciation and check new vocabulary. So we are going to talk about this conversation. I will make it a little bit bigger for you to read it. And it says, if I found $750,000, okay? $750,000. It says, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it. And the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it. And then you could go to jail. Mm, you got a point there. Okay, perfect. So you see, this is a conversation. Do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas? About pronunciation or meaning, right? Pronunciation, uh, jewelry. Jewel, okay. So, for example, uh, joyería, right? Joya, how do you say joya in English? Jewel, jewel, jewel exactly, jewel. So, <laughs> without the R and the Y, right? Jewel. Y joyería, jewelry, jewelry. Yeah. Exactly, jewelry. jewelry. So, it's not jewelry, it's jewelry. Okay, jewelry, jewelry exactly, jewelry. Another question? Okay, how do you say this word? Nice. Clothes. Clothes. What is the pronunciation? Clothes. Okay, in this case, we have a C-L-O-T-H-E-S, right? Ropa, the vestimenta, right? So C-L-O-T-H and S. Some people say closest, and, and I heard also clothes, but it's oh. actually is an S. Esta TH se pronuncia como S, right? Close. close. Como cerrar, like in English, close. close. Nice close. close. Yes, nice close. So it's, a, it's an S, close, close, nice close. close. Very good. Another one. What is the meaning of your kidding? Your kidding. What is the meaning of that? Exactly, yeah. you're kidding, right? You're very good. And how do you pronounce this amount with a lot of zeros? How do you pronounce this one? $750,000. Exactly, $750,000. Okay, so if you practice the conversation, you are going to say $750,000. Okay, jewelry, right? Clothes. You're kidding. What else? Something else? Or that's it? Okay, simply, right? And the owner simply thanked. Thanked. I forgot to bring these uh, rules, but I will bring it tomorrow. So we are going to practice right now the conversation. We are going to listen to the conversation right now also, and we are going to practice it, okay? Because I guess that this is the first step for you to start uh, speaking, and then we are going to speak 
about other topics freely without um, a recording. So let's see. Let me find it right now. Okay, here it is. Uh, we are going to listen to the conversation right now, okay? About the $750,000. And then we are going to practice it. Let's see. I don't know why, but my internet is kind of slow right now. Just let me one minute for your patience. You see, it's kind of slow. Hey, hello, everybody. Are you able to listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to play the conversation, okay? One moment, please. And now we have conversation. If I found 750,000, okay, let's listen the dialogue. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so... Okay, right now we're going to practice the conversation, okay? Are you ready to practice? <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Now I need a volunteer. Un voluntario, or dos, two volunteers. Hmm. Me. Okay, Eric, and who else? A me, teacher. Hmm. And Jose, okay. Jose, uh, Eric, you begin, and then er, uh, you, Jose, uh, you will follow him, okay? Go ahead, please. Okay, look at this. Some guy found uh, $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked, with, thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found 750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What, do you, what would you do? Well, I'll go out and start spending it. I could buy a lot of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone may, might also find out about it. And then you could go to the jail. Hmm. You have got a point there. Okay, very good. You get a point. Very good. Perfect. Jose Ramirez, choose someone else. Alguien más. Let me see who else. And Noe Vasquez. Okay, Noe Vasquez. And who else? Sure. Hmm. Maria Siguenza. Maria Siguenza. Are you there, Maria Siguenza? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Noe Vasquez and Maria Siguenza. Okay, Noe, you will begin and Maria will follow you. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, look at this. Some guy found uh, 700. Uh, Fifty thousand dollar. Uh, returning at the owner's time. Thanks. He with a phone call. You kidding? If if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollar gold, the chore is so fat. Why? Why would you do? 
when I go out and start spending, spending and I go buy a lot of nice clothes and jewelry. So what? Well, I also think I are about it, and then you go go to jail. Mm, you got point there. Yeah. Okay, very good. Remember, uh, someone might also find out, right? What is the meaning of find out? What is the meaning of find out? Encontrarlo. Encontrar, right? So find out, like to know about it, right? And then you could go to jail. Very good. Noé, choose someone else. Escoja otros dos, por favor, de sus compañeros. Hey, teacher. Eric Cardoza. Ya pasó. Ok, veamos quién no ha pasado. Walter Quintanilla no ha pasado. Y. Walter Quintanilla y Jaime Reyes. Walter Quintanilla y Jaime Reyes, teacher. I don't listen to the teacher. Ajá, no se le escucha, teacher. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jaime, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. and Walter? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, so uh, Jaime, you will begin and then Walter will follow you and Rosa, you will uh, practice with somebody else uh, after them, okay? You can go ahead. Okay, look at this, Sangoy phone. Uh, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars he returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a fond card to again is a found seven <coughs> um seventy um seventy fixing only I I want I want the tune is so fat. Why? What would you do? What, what would you do? Why I got all start spending is I go, but lot of nice clothes and the and the and the. And they see it. Someone might also find out, find out it, and then you call good to hate. Okay, you got a point there, right, Rosa? Okay, perfect. So uh, you were practices with Walter, right, Rosa? Okay, remember that is uh, someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail. Uh, Jaime Reyes, did you practice this time? No, right? I want. Okay. Okay, so Sandra and Jaime, please uh, practice the conversation. Sandra will begin and then Jaime Reyes will continue, okay? Um, look at this. Some guy from $750,000. He returned return it and the own simple thanks him with a phone call. Excuse me. Okay. You're kidding? If I found $750,000, I won't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go out and start spending it. I call by lots of nice clothes and jewelry. 
someone might also find out about it. And then you could go to jail. Hmm, you got a point there. Very good, perfect. Um, you got a point there, very good. So here is you've, right? You've got a point there, right? You've, right? So this is like contraction of you have, right? You've got a point there, perfect. Perfect. So uh, this is a conversation. We are going to be using these structures. For example, what would you do? Que harías tú, right? I go out and start spending. It. Yo saldría y empezaría a gastarlo, right? So we are going to please practice the past participles and past tenses of the verbs because we are going to use that a lot in this uh, unit. So it seems that there was like a pending a pending presentation, right? Let's see, somebody wrote here in the chat. Sandra, you had like a presentation for today? Sandra <laughs> Cecilia? Oh, I speak in baby. Okay, okay, no problem. Let's see. Okay, Sandra Cecilia, did you have any presentation for today? No. No, teacher, uh, yes, because teacher, aún no he pasado a exponer en un ratito paso por si desaparezco. A te escribí temprano. Ah, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue with the class, no problem. Let's see, by the end of this class, participant. Okay, we already checked this right, right. So this will be the uh, conditional that we are going to, to check right now unreal conditionals and sentence with if clause, okay? Unreal conditional, right? Sentences with if clause. Imaginary situation and possible consequence. An imaginary situation is something like in the conversation, right? If I found $750, what would you do? I will spend it. I wouldn't return it so fast. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police. What would you do if you found $750,000? So these are more examples, the ones that we have here. For example, if I had money or if I were sick or if I had time, right? So these are imaginary situations. So the imaginary situation if the, is the if clause, right? Si, si yo tuviera, si yo encontrara, si yo estuviera, si, et cetera, ¿verdad? And the possible consequence is with would. Would is what? Is a modal verb? Is an adverb? What is would? Yeah. No, no. It's a modal verb. It's a modal, exactly. Thank you, Maria. So would is a modal. So we are going to uh, answer the possible consequence, the possibility with would, right? Would or wouldn't, right? It depends if it is affirmative or negative. And also could, could is another model, right? I could buy, I might go, right? I might. We already checked also might uh, in the previous uh, previous week, right? So we already know how the models work. Now we are going to have a little bit of a review. How many conditionals do we have? ¿Cuántos condicionales conocen ustedes? How many conditionals do you know? My, most. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh, possibly, probably, definitely. Yes, those are adverbs, right? Adverbs and models, exactly. But now we are going to study a conditional sentence. A conditional sentence. We have a zero conditional. That is the first conditional, right? The zero conditional is an if clause, right? Entonces vamos a repasar las condicionales. Son como dos o tres condicionales, pero nosotros solo vamos a repasar unas dos. Y la primera es la zero conditional. Zero conditional es la primera que ya tendrían que haber visto antes, ¿ok? So, is the present simple or the simple present plus the simple present. For example... If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. 
So we have an if clause, right? Tenemos una, una cláusula con if. The zero conditionals are used for facts that are generally true and do not change. It refers to a general situation that always happens if a condition is met. The condition always has the same result. Zero conditionals are also known as type O or type zero conditionals. Entonces, el cero condicional que es, es una oración que dice que son hechos reales, ¿verdad? Lo ocupamos para hechos reales. Entonces, por ejemplo, si dejas el hielo en el sol, ¿qué pasa? Se derrite, ¿verdad? So, if you leave ice in the sun, it melts. So, ese es the zero conditional. Y el zero conditional utiliza el presente simple y el presente simple en las dos oraciones, ¿verdad? So, that is the zero conditional. This is just a review. Este es solo un repaso. This is the zero conditional, right? The if, the condition, and the result. So it is like the same with all the conditionals. It's like very similar. So the if condition plus the result. And they use the simple present. For example, if you leave ice in the sun, it melts. If you stand in the rain, you get wet, right? Si te paras debajo de la lluvia, ¿qué pasa? Uno se moja, ¿verdad? If you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. If you put water in the freezer, it becomes ice. If you add, if you drink coffee at night, it makes me a long time to fall asleep, right? So that is the zero conditional, right? It says here that we can use it, uh, the comma is necessary if the if clause is at the beginning and comma is not necessary if the if clause go, uh, goes at the end. So this is like more information about the comma more examples, and this is the zero conditional. We can use also when, right? If you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer, or when you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. It's, it's similar, if, when, right? It's similar. Now we have the first conditional. Este es un repaso, nada más, but the first conditional is the simple present plus the future simple, or present simple plus future simple. If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. Si trabajamos duro, terminaremos el proyecto a tiempo. Entonces, the first conditional is used to express a real or very probable situation in the future. It refers to things that will possibly happen in the future if a condition is met. We are predicting a likely result in the future. First conditionals are also known as type one conditional. So that is the type one or the first conditional. So we have the zero conditional. Now we have the first conditional, right? So this is the first conditional, present simple and future simple or simple present and simple future. If we work hard, we will finish the project on time. Lo ocupamos para decir cosas que pueden pasar, que es muy probable que pasen. And this is the if conditional, the result, right? So this is the possibility that is uh, probably will that probably will happen. That will be a result in, in the time. We have more examples here. If you like Susie Zinger, then you love her a new album. If you take this medicine, you will feel much better. Where are my keys? If you look in the garage, you will find them. So it is a result that is probably that, that will happen probably, right? We have more examples here. We are not going to read them all because this is just a review, right? But I will share this information for you to have it. That will be the first conditional, right? If it rains tomorrow, we will stay home. Si llueve mañana, nos quedaremos en casa. So es un, un resultado que podría pasar muy probablemente. If it will rain tomorrow, así no se usa. El will siempre va eh, en, la, en el resultado, no en el if, ¿verdad? And we can uh, interchange, right? We, lo podemos cambiar siempre. La if no siempre va a ir al principio, sino que también podemos ponerla al final. If he doesn't arrive soon, we'll live without him. Or we'll live without him if he doesn't arrive soon. And the if clause, if the if clause goes to the beginning, we use a comma, right? Remember that. So that would be the first conditional. First conditional is common when we are talking about possible plans promises, warnings, threats, and persuading someone. So we are going to study the second conditional, okay? The second conditional. We have the zero conditional, the first conditional, 
the second conditional and the third conditional. So we are going to study today the second one. Why do we use it or how do we use it? We use it for hypothetical or unlikely situations or real or improbable situation now or in the future. Entonces ya tenemos la diferencia de los diferentes condicionales. Eh, la segunda condicional es la que vamos a estudiar de ahora en adelante. Recuerden eso. Esta sería la estructura. ¿Y se usa para qué? Para cosas hipotéticas. Para situaciones que probablemente no vayan a pasar. Para situaciones que no son reales, que son improbables, ¿verdad? Una situación improbable que podría pasar en el futuro o en este momento. Ok. Uh, do you have any questions about zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional? You already uh, studied this. Eso ya lo uh, debieron de haber estudiado, ¿verdad? El zero conditional, first conditional. So do you have any question right now? No, no question or it was a lot of information. Was it a lot of information? Mucha información de ti. Well, no. teacher, <laughs> Tell me. I have a question, teacher. Yes, what is your question, Mary? Uh, one uh, sentence is, uh, can use uh, uh, two conditional and one sentence. No, just no. one. Just no. one conditional. Yes, one sentence would be one, two clauses, right? An independent clause and a dependent clause, but you will have one one sentence. Just, so we will use yes. only one conditional, only one conditional. And um, when we need uh, the sentences, no, it's possible uh, use two conditions. No, because that would be weird, right? Because we are just we want to convey one message. Solo vamos a que vamos a hablar de una cosa. Vamos a transmitir un mensaje. Si fueran dos condicionales. Creo que serían dos mensajes y se confundirían. Entonces, solo vamos a ocupar solo una para ser más claros. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, very good. In, in the case we, where we have to use, if I were you, mm -hmm. is a conditional type. Yes, if I were you, si yo fuera tú, right? O si yo fuera usted. Yes, if I were you, is a conditional, it's the second conditional. Uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Actually, we are going to study if I were you possibilities or sentences. So we are going to start with the second conditional. <laughs> when we are thinking about a situation in the present or future that is hypothetical, unlikely, or impossible. So remember that second conditional is for impossible things or very unreal, right? So we have if plus past simple or simple plus, comma, and would the modal would and the verb. We use a past verb through though are imagining the present or the future to be different. So we use a past verb. The second clause of subject plus will plus verb, conditional verb is conditional to the first clause happening or will only happen if the first part clause happens. Actually, this is very confusing because there are a lot of words right now, but we are going to see examples, right? For example, if I won the lottery, I will travel around the world. Si ganara la lotería, travel, right? Viajaría, verdad? Alrededor del mundo. If I knew, si supiera his name, I will tell you. Si supiera su nombre, te lo diría. But I don't know it, right? If I didn't have a headache, I will go to the party. Si no tuviera dolor de cabeza, me iría a la fiesta. Mm -hmm. So unreal. Es, es una situación irreal, verdad? If I became president, si yo me convirtiera en presidente, I will reduce the salaries of all politicians. Reduciría el salario de todos los políticos. If I were the president, but I am not the president, right? So, so that is the second conditional. You see, it's just uh, suppositions, right? It's imagining things, right? So notice how we use a comma after the past tense clause. So remember, if the if clause is at the beginning, we use a comma. Remember, right? So that is the rule. Can I go uh, and change it, teacher? Can I change the if? Can I write if at the end? Yes. But if you write it, 
you don't you don't use the comma, right? For example, I will be happy if I had more free time. You see? Sería feliz si tuviera más tiempo libre. libre. Okay? And the opposite or, or in a different way would be if I had more free time, comma, I will be happy. You see? So it's the same, but it's different. Like the, the position is different. I will tell you the answer if I knew what it was. There will be fewer accidents if everyone drove more carefully. We will have a lot of money if we sold our house. Will she come if I paid for her flight? You see, it's, an, it's a question. So we can use conditionals with questions, right? Vendría ella si pagara el vuelo de ella? Will she come if I pay her flight? Would you accept the job if they offer it to you? ¿Aceptarías el trabajo si te lo ofrecieran? So it's, it's another question, right? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if you saw an UFO, right? So that would be some uh, questions with the second conditional. So in this case, the comma is not necessary because of the word order. Remember, right? Questions, preguntas. No questions, right? Everything's clear. No <laughs> okay, no good. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that if it is it's complicated or if you don't understand something, let me know. Si no entienden algo, pregúntenme ahorita, okay? Because uh, después yo les voy a preguntar a ustedes, les voy a tocar a ustedes. Okay, if I were, if I were, know that the verb to be, when we use if, or if I, or if he, or if she, or if it, is where, is not was, right? It's not was. This is different, right? Because normally in the simple past, we say I was here, right? She was here. He, uh, he was um, happy, right? Different things. But with that, the if, the second conditional is where for all of it. You, he, she, I, all of them. The reason we use where instead of was is because the sentence is the subjunctive when está en subjuntivo. Y por eso se usa where, ¿verdad? For example, if I were not in debt, I will quit my job. Si no tuviera deudas, renunciaría a mi trabajo. I will quit my job. If I were not in debt, ¿verdad? si no estuviera en deuda, si no estuviera endeudado. If he were taller, if he were taller, he'd be accepted into the team. Si él fuera más alto, él, lo, él sería aceptado en el equipo. She will still be correcting my grammar if she were still alive. Ella todavía me corregiría mi gramática si ella estuviera viva. Si ella aún estuviera viva, right? Still alive. So that is how we use where, right? Remember, we use where for he, for she, for it, and for I also in the second conditional. It says uh, through informal English, you will hear some people say, if I was informal, is different, right? Because that's how people talk on the streets and, or normally. And probably you will listen if I was, if I was you, right? And also probably sometimes they, uh, sometimes they use was for all of the pronouns, right? If they was, if they was, if we was. So that is informal, right? So that is uh, different. But informal English is if I were, okay? Questions, preguntas. Teacher, uh -huh. <laughs> what's, what, what's the meaning she would still be? Still. She, she, she would still be. She will ella, still ella be. Sería, uh, ella. Uh, she will still be. Okay, she will still be. So she will be, ella sería, no? O ella estaría, sí. ¿verdad? Sería. Cero estar. But ella still is aún, still, aún. Ella aún estaría corrigiendo. She will still be correcting. So, still. It's different when we transform the words into Spanish. Cuando las tradu traducimos, es diferente. Okay, Thank another you. question? No question about it? About, about it? Okay, uh, if you don't have questions, please don't. Don't make this mistake. Even when you talk with... In, in, probably with other people probably you will be used to talk if i was that's okay if you want to that's your option 
But uh, if you're writing, you already know that in formal English it is if I were, right? Or if she were. Could in second conditional sentence, could can be used instead of would. Remember that could can be used instead of would to make an hypothetical present or future more likely. For example, if he trained every day, he could represent his country. Si él entrenara todos los días, él podría representar su país. For example, Olympics, right? En las Olimpiadas. If I had a little more money, I could buy a car. Si yo tuviera un poco más de dinero, podría comprar un auto o un carro, ¿verdad? I could buy a car. So that is how we use could instead of would. Now, today is Halloween. Do you like Halloween or do you don't like Halloween? Mm. Mm, whatever. <laughs> it's, you don't celebrate it, you don't hate it, you don't love it. Okay. Uh, we still have 10 minutes, so we are going to practice a little bit, okay, about this. Let's see. Um, Eric, you were early here for classes. Let's see. Uh, what would you do? ¿Qué harías tú, right? What would you do? If someone offered to tell you your future, would you want to know? Yes or no, Eric? Mm. Mm. I I understand the question, but I I don't know how can I answer it in English. You can answer ah. it in English. <laughs> maybe maybe that's that's yeah, but, right but, but, but what, what would you say uh -huh. if someone offered me to tell my future i will say maybe or yes or no right i wouldn't hurry i wouldn't hurt him why you wouldn't like to because... listen to your future no i would like i i want to know my future by myself exactly okay very good a very good point very good perfect eric choose someone else escoja alguien más de sus compañeros let's see okay um carla merino carla carla is sick i guess uh she she oh. she has oh. the flu sorry okay so and Noe Vasquez. Noe Vasquez. Okay, perfect, Noe. Let's see. Uh, it says, if there was a holiday in a haunted house available, would you pay money to go there? Would you pay money to go to a haunted house? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Because, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's <in a> supposed... <laughs> do, do you like haunted houses? No. So you wouldn't you wouldn't pay for that. Yes. Yes, you wouldn't pay. Yeah. Or you will pay. And you <laughs> no, you will pay not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you know what a haunted house is, right? Una casa embrujada, haunted no, house. No, no. <laughs> so you wouldn't pay for to go there. No, no, okay. no teacher. Not even a night. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Noe. Choose someone else. Escoja alguien más. Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes. Okay, Jaime Reyes. If your friend told you they had seen a ghost, would you believe them? Mm. No, I don't know, believe. Why? Why? I I I don't not uh, believe in ghosts. You don't believe in ghosts. You have never seen a ghost before. Yes. Okay. Very good. So very good. So if you don't believe in ghosts, that's okay. So if if you if you're if you die, you go heaven or hell, right? But you don't stay here. You don't believe in ghosts. I, 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 don't, I don't believe. Okay, perfect, Jaime. Choose someone else. I give um, um, 
We have Walter. Uh, Walter. Walter. Walter, are you there, Walter Quintanilla? Yes, teacher. Okay, Walter. If you heard strange noises at night, would you believe it was a ghost? Mm, I think no. Why? Uh, Why? Could be a cat or dog. Okay, so you don't believe in haunted houses, you don't believe in ghosts also, right? Yes, yes, I believe. You but, believe? Yeah, but in, in other cities. In, other, in which cities? In which <clears throat> cities? Which cities, yes, yes. In, in which ones? In uh, cuáles ciudades? In, uh, Usulutan. Usulutan. Mm -hmm. So, Usulutan, a lot of ghosts in Usulutan? Could be, yes. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know there were a lot of ghosts in Usulutan. Okay, <laughs> okay, Walter. Choose someone else. Let's go have oh, a Okay. Jose. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Okay, Jose Ramirez. Would you want to come to came back or to come back as a ghost if you could? Hmm. Probably just for a day. Would you would you like to come back as a ghost if you could? Uh, no. Why? Um I don't believe in a ghost. You don't believe in ghosts. You have never seen a ghost, you have never heard like anything weird i never heard um, i i i heard uh, so much noises in the night uh -huh. um alone here in the office uh -huh. and object um is on the floor and mm. here is nothing there's nothing you have never seen like something weird like no. oh it's just a noise right it, uh, it's common, um, but um, I I don't believe in. I never seen. I never have seen a ghost. Okay, and you are not in your house right now. You're in the office. Uh, yeah, I'm in the office in Morisan. You're, you're working right now. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. It's kind of hard, right? <laughs> Learning and working at the same time. Okay, yep. choose the last one. Let's go al último. Choose okay. the last one. Uh, let me see who is in participate. Uh, Rosa Esmeralda. Rosa Esmeralda, are you there? Yes. Okay, Rosa. Uh, answer this if you thought your house is haunted what would you do si, pe, si usted creyera it's a, a real situation ¿verdad? es una situación irreal pero si usted creyera que su casa está embrujada ¿qué haría usted if you thought your house is haunted what would you do What would you do, Rosa? I I if you came in my um in in my pastor um uh, cura a priest llamaría un padre o un cura you will call a sí. priest mm -hmm. and holy priest. water holy water everywhere, agua bendita, uh -huh. praying every, every day, every night. Yes. But your house is not haunted, right? Or is it? It's not haunted, right? Tu casa no está embrujada, ¿verdad? No. No, right? <laughs> okay. Really uh, but I experience sobrenaturales. Uh, superna yeah. Really? You have experienced yeah. like super have you seen sí. ghosts? 
ha visto fantasmas. I don't, uh, um, I want, um, uh, this, uh, this, the, I, ¿Cómo puedo decir una mujer vestida de blanco? blanco, a, blanco a woman blanco. In, in, in dressing white. A woman dressing white. Vio una mujer a vestida woman, de blanco. A woman. Where in your house? Where in your house? En, en su casa la vio mm. dónde? Sí, en mi casa. In your house. <laughs> so, your house. <laughs> so your house is haunted. Entonces su casa sí está embrujada. No. No, yes. right. Just no. one time. Just one time. No, no la vio en su casa, la vio en la calle, afuera. No, adentro. Adentro, inside. Okay. Sí. Okay. En medio Probably. de la sala. In the living room. And where are you right now? Are you in the living room? <laughs> And are you, are you in the living room right now? Usted está en la sala ahorita? No, right. No, I is um, so, um because if I if this in my house. Oh, uh, your house is big. Okay. In, no. No. Uh, is you I was. Mm -hmm. Um, in my house. Uh, of my parents. Ah, your parents' house. In yeah. Ah, okay, your parents' house. Sí. Okay, I thought that was your house. So your parents' house is haunted. La casa de los papás suyos está, sí está embrujada. No. No. <laughs> no. If not afraid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but you saw a woman, a woman in the in a white dress. Usted vio una mujer vestida de blanco, yeah. eso sí. Ah, okay. Sí. Probably was a ghost. Probably was someone else, right? Alguien le estaba también haciendo una broma, tal vez, verdad? We don't know. <laughs> no, I. I was. <laughs> Era como un mal espíritu, creo yo. Ah, o alguien que ya había muerto. A little spirit, ajá. Uh -huh. Like a ghost. Yeah. Ok. I doubt. I doubt. Uh, you doubt it. Ok. We don't know. We don't know. Because uh, some people, some people say that they have seen ghosts. Hay gente que dice que ha visto. Some people say that they have never seen them. And they don't believe. That's ok. Ok. No problem. But we are going to finish today. In Halloween, talking about ghosts. So, <laughs> oh. We're going to finish the class right now. Tomorrow, um, if it is possible, right? Uh, no, I won't. I won't. I won't leave you a, a, a homework. Pero vamos a dejar así por hoy. Solo porque ya, ya. No queremos ir, vea, para, <laughs> para ya no hablar de fantasmas. Halloween. <laughs> no, 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 we are going to finish right now the class and thank you for being here. Thank you for your commitment and have a nice evening, okay? Have a nice, uh, have a nice evening. Good night. See you. See you. Bye. Night, night. Bye. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye.